I sent Puffin my cock yesterday, and I had to tweet whether or not it was gay to send your dick to guys or not. I was very confused whether or not I'm gay for sending my penis to another man. I don't think it is, personally. I don't think it's gay. I think it's just like a bro thing. But he was really confused. He was like, why did you send me it hard? And I'm like, I'm not going to send you it soft. You'd get done for child porn. <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm not gonna send you it soft, okay, man? It's rough. I'm a grower, okay, man? I'm a grower, dude. So, I'm not gonna be sending my flaccid penis out to men. I don't care if he thinks it's big or not. It's not like I want him to like it. I'm gay. Did Puffin send his back? Puffin said he's never sent his to anyone ever. But I took his nut virginity because he sent me a picture of his nut. Have I been used? I feel like I feel like a used condom. <laughs> Am I the gay one? I don't know who's the gay one in the situation. I think he's gay for not sending his back, right? Because it's kind of like he's using it. I think like he's the gay one. I want to see it now so we're equal. But that doesn't make me... Uh, whatever. The fact that you have to ask so much means that you're gay. Brenna, just because I turn you down doesn't mean <laughs> that I'm gay, okay? Don't cope. You're, you're on so much copium right now, Brenna. You're on so much copium, it's insane right now. I can't believe it. Nems is the one coping Omega lol, I guess. Yeah, I'm the one on copium. <laughs> I don't like the fact that I hosted someone yesterday. I hosted Squilla yesterday, and his chat, one of his mods, instantly, before anyone even said sync, I instantly hosted and he wrote, oh god, the Nems people. <laughs> Like, it, that was instantly the mod's first message before, like, anything even happened. He just put, oh god, the Nems people. And I was like, do you know what? That really does show that it's you guys, and it's not me. He didn't say, oh god, Nems. He said, oh god, the Nems people. He knows you guys are, like, caged in here, and then I let you out. <laughs> Actually, he might. Is it xenophobic? Are you Nems people? I don't know. People really do not like us. <laughs> Dude, I genuinely see people shit talk my chat so much. It's insane, by the way. Like, I was in someone else's chat yesterday and they were like, Nems' chat's fucking crazy, dude. It's wild over there. You don't know what it's like in there, man. <laughs> you don't know what it's like, dude. I've been there. There's so many Estonians. <laughs> We are naughty boys with big fucking cocks. Of course, people are scared of us. Kyle, I don't think everyone in here has a big cock, man. Yesterday, I had to explain to HelloFresh why they had to change the discount code to FAT38. Now, imagine how that conversation went. Hey, yeah, your code is going to be HelloNems, okay? That's going to be your discount code. And then I said, hey, can we change it to FAT38? Oh, why would you want to change it to Fat38? I genuinely said this to them. I went, my community thinks I'm fat, and I put in brackets, I'm not. But I'm sure they would interact more with it if the code was Fat38. And I don't know. I'm going to find out today whether or not the code's going to be Fat38 or not. I think it's going to be Hello Fat38, which is kind of even funnier. No joke, though. I It's funny. When I take sponsors from my stream, I usually, like, I, obviously, Raid was, like, close to my heart. So I didn't really need to sell out too much for Raid. You know, like, Raid's really close to my heart. Like, it's one of them games where I'm like, damn, I have a passion for this. So, I, it was fine. But, like, with HelloFresh, I actually used it for five months. And I stopped using it because... I Well, uh, I stopped using it because I honestly just got really lazy and fat. And I started having takeaways and stuff. So, that honestly, it was the worst decision I ever made not using it. Is it bad that I actually play Raid? No. Genuinely, I would play Raid if I was a mobile gamer. I used to be. I used to play Simpsons Hit and Run all No, not Simpsons Hit and Run. What was the Simpsons game? Tapped Out. Yeah, I used to play Tapped Out so much, dude. My dad has been playing it for five years, and he lost his save, and he didn't have an account. So he literally lost his entire five years of playing, and I genuinely think he wanted to cry. <laughs> Like, he genuinely was, like, so sad for the day, and he wanted to cry, because he was like, I spent four years doing it, and I was like, I just found it funny. <laughs> I found it funny, because it's like, Simpsons, I don't know. Maybe I'm an arsehole, I don't know. Been, like, three weeks now, and that slag Brenna is still here. She's not even in the Bundas Liga. <laughs> Mental. Hello, Fresh gets its ingredients from dead kids. Ah! Christ, your fingers are fat, mate. I'm loving this game, guys. 
Jake, I will ban you. I'm not kidding, buddy. I'm not defending Brenna. Brenna can look after herself. She's a strong woman. Brenna, why did you build a sign on my Rust server of my logo and then next to it saying sexy 38? Can you explain that to me, Brenna? I put it over my bed so I can dream about you. Are you kidding? Brenna, fucking hell. That is, you are down atrocious, actually. You guys are incredibly cringe. Why am I being roped in with that? She made a, a poster of me above her bed saying sexy 38 and you're calling me cringe. <laughs> Why did I get roped into that? Why did you allow her on the server? We need more women. <laughs> There's not enough women on the server, so... The only woman who was on there was Apollo, and I was role-playing as a cowboy, and she was walking home in the dark, and I had my flashlight on her, and I went, What's a pretty woman like you doing walking home alone out here? And then she she left the server, so... <laughs> I don't know if there's many. I need to get more women on the server as many as possible, honestly. So, it was just roleplay, guys. I'm roleplaying a cowboy, and I was saying, what's she doing out there? I didn't do anything. I did something really bad today that I want to say I did. <laughs> Me and my mum, we haven't, like, seen other people today. Uh, in like a long time and me and my mum went to the pharmacy to go collect her like drugs and we walked past some people who were like outside and she was talking about how she doesn't get embarrassed in front of people and I was like no neither do I and I was like I could embarrass you so easily I'm sure you'd be embarrassed she was like no so I walked past these people and I went I, w I literally said really loudly as I walked past them I went well mum I didn't kill him but I was holding the dildo <laughs> And my mum went, Ashley! And then, like, these guys just started, like, laughing their head off as they walked past me. <laughs> Dude, she, my mum was so mad, literally wouldn't talk to me all the way home. I was fucking laughing my ass off, dude. My mum would not talk to me. She's like, why did you do that? That's so embarrassing. I was like, I thought someone didn't get embarrassed in front of people. She was like, no. <laughs> uh, are you 14? I'm 27, man. But my mum, like, she... <laughs> Oh, my mum probably thinks I'm such a loser. Dude, JDN replied to one of my tweets about sending pictures to guys. And I I was in our chat yesterday and I said to her, hey, and she went, oh, hey, Nems. And then she like paused for three seconds and then went, are you still gay? <laughs> like, and then loads of people started tagging me saying gay. And I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, I did <laughs> I can't even like go in people's fucking chats and she asked that to me. Oh my god, I should have rolled. The dog! My dog is my dog's on my bed just wagging his tail looking at me. What are your Twitter messages that you read this morning? I had a Twitter message from a this is really random, but this woman messaged me and she was like, hey Nems. I am 29, 5 foot 2. I'm a, I'm a 5 foot 2 standing MILF, and I want to help you come. <laughs> and I was like, what? She's like, I watch your streams and you're hilarious. And then she put, I NEED, and she put in all caps for the need, obviously, for some reason. I need to hear what you sound like when you reach. And I was like, okay, this is getting weird. And it was a genuine account. I thought it was going to be fake, but it was an actual account, and she had like a bunch of pictures of her son. That sounds no she had a she was a milf okay <laughs> i replied to her well if you want to hear that sound just listen to me get fence skip first try and then she went it would just be quicker to call you and i said i don't know if that's a diss at my fence skip or not <laughs> oh my god i'm so unlucky i'm now off a of moat probation by the way guys i used to be on a moat probation uh because i submitted an emote that was a hog and it got removed it got removed by a twitch manager and then i replied to my twitch manager because it wasn't like someone else it wasn't like some random staff it was genuinely my twitch manager looked at my channel and he purposely himself took it off because he didn't like it and I said to him, why are you doing that? Like, it's not even bad. There's way worse emotes on Twitch. And then he said, I just don't think it's right. I'm going to take I'm going to take responsibility and get rid of it. And then I said, you should. I, I replied to him, suck my hog. But I, I didn't say hog. <laughs> 
And then he didn't reply to me for like three weeks, and then he put my he put me on a moat probation. <laughs> so yeah, put me on a probation. I'm off the probation now, and he's not my manager anymore, guys. I said to him last month, "Hey man, I'm I got a DMCA. Can you help me?" And he said, "I'm not your manager anymore. I did email you about this," and I went, "Oh good, I'm happy." <laughs> Ah, oh, bro, why am I so fucking unlucky? He does a little mini jump charge onto me.